using light and sound in order to detect partial discharges. Well, we can actually see partial discharges. However, in broad daylight, this is kind of hard, so sometimes we have to wait for the sunset or at night, and then we can see a bluish glow. This is usually external partial discharges, and we can see them either with our naked eye or there are special cameras out there, and these cameras, they're sometimes called daylight cameras, and we can use them, and on our display, we can see white points or different, or different colors depending on the manufacturer. We can see that we have partial discharges. This would be very easy. Let's talk about sound. Very often when these external partial discharges happen, right, we can also hear a sound. Very interestingly, I was told that sometimes if you have a very humid air and you're having overhead lines that work at a very high elevated voltage, so example 380 kV, uh, especially if you have humid air, um, the hissing sound starts. And I was told that especially dogs and horses don't like this very much. So somebody told me they wanted to go under an overhead line with a horse. You can hear the crackling sound, the hissing sound, and the horse didn't like that. It refused to go there. So for us humans, we can either hear that or we use a special microphone. It's a directional microphone. It's like a dish. And then you can point it and you can try to figure out where the noise is coming from. So if you don't have such a, a directional microphone and you're rather close to the area where the partial discharge are happening, there's a trick you can do. And this is actually from a guy, uh, he's a German guy, he lived and worked in Austria for a long time and he's awesome. And he had a very good idea. You take something like that, you take a plastic pipe and he was using that, I think the longer the better, especially if you're talking about high voltage. And he was literally using that in order to figure out where the sound is coming from. It worked quite well. Let's hope that uh, this is not conductive. And that's the easiest way in order to find or to detect partial discharges, try to figure out at what point in my high voltage lab, on my high voltage setup, do I actually have problems. There's another method to use acoustic signals in order to detect or even localize partial discharges. And that's a pretty awesome idea. I do not know how many products like this are available in the market, but at least there's one company who does that. So let's imagine this is a high voltage transformer, right? It's a rather big one. And I was trying to draw it here. I put even three bushings on here, even though a transformer should have more, minimum six, very often seven. But this is my transformer. And let's say I have internal acoustical partial discharges. I have internal discharges that create an acoustic signal, right? So the idea here is I'm using, I'm using four microphones and I've done this myself, so it works. No, it doesn't mean only because I did it, it works, but you're having four sensors and you place them strategically. So you're gonna place this one on the back. You place them strategically and then all of them are connected to a device, right? Here is my measurement instrument and all of them have a wire to here and now if I have a partial discharge, I can figure out by, by, by time of flight where the partial discharge could be somewhere in my transformer. By the way, it doesn't make so much sense to put them all on the same level, so actually changing the height is a little bit better. And the coolest thing here is that um, you can do this online very often if you dare to go trans uh, to a transformer which is online. I did. And the coolest thing is if you could also measure the partial discharges at the same time. So example given, I have a measuring device which is here connected to one of my bushings and I can put this in there as well. I can even trigger that. So literally I can say, okay, whenever I'm measuring a partial discharge, and I hope it's coming from inside and not from the outside, but it's coming from inside, I'm actually telling my acoustic localization device, I'm saying, there was just something happening, most likely a partial discharge. Can you hear something? And then I can even correlate the electric signals to my acoustic signals, and this would help me to localize that. And when I did this uh, a couple of years ago, I was able to find certain sources, not all of them, but certain sources I was able to find. Let's say they were, at the end they were, let's say, back in here, and we told the user or the owner of the transformer or um, whoever, was, was interested in that, where we believe the partial discharge was, and the end accuracy was less than three centimeters to each side. So obviously we have, uh, we have four, uh, three axes, right? And uh, we were within three or four centimeters on each axis and we were able to localize that. 
So, that's pretty much it for light and sound, but we have other videos about the other things. See you soon.